even though we do things that seem to be different, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a, a, I, th I think we're all the same in the, in the way that we sort of uh, interpret what we're doing in the arts. Mm -hmm. And I think more than anything, the seriousness, you know, mm -hmm. with which, you know, each of us is tackling their own pursuits mm -hmm. in the arts. I think that it's very important. Uh, artists has to have to be serious about what they're doing and, and you know, so. And so I mean when you find other people who are serious, yes, it's easy I mean, to make you're you gravitate together. towards each other and, mm -hmm. and all this. Uh, um, yeah, and I think that's that's what occurs to me right now, but there's plenty, many more mm -hmm. reasons. <laughs> uh, actually, Baron once, uh, uh, not b even before Obsolete Media, I, m I met both of them. Mm -hmm. Kevin, I think I met when we were doing New Music America in 1988. Uh -huh. uh, New Music America, what can you tell me more about that? That was a big festival that mm -hmm. happened every year in a different city. It was... Uh -huh. uh, experimental music festival and uh, uh, that year happened in Miami it was actually produced by Tiger Tell Productions and 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 I was the the technical coordinator for se for the festival mm -hmm. and Kevin uh, I met Kevin he he also worked uh, you know help helping us uh, to do some of the technical stuff mm -hmm. and then Baron I met later when he uh, was with the uh, Wilson Media Center uh -huh. and uh, already involved with, you know, obsolete media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, deep in it. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, with, uh, he, uh, he was uh, organizing a festival called Fast Forward and, and he invited me to do a couple of events mm -hmm. uh, during that. Um, so that's so how it all began. Yeah, we began say. maybe, yeah, a little bit outside of that. And then when they started this obsolete media uh, project, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was very exciting. And uh, and we found really interesting ways of collaborating, uh, you know, uh, et cetera. So can you tell me a little bit about one of the interesting projects that you all have worked on together? Your favorite, maybe? Well, uh, actually, I don't really have favorite mm -hmm. projects, <laughs> you know. Uh, that makes sense. What I do mostly is experiments and sometimes the collaborations turn out to be interested interesting on their own because it's about maybe working on something you might have not thought about mm -hmm. you know doing so that's already interesting um uh, with uh baron we did a a a project at my space at you mm -hmm. know it was a three screen project it was called mono in flux mm -hmm. <laughs> and it happened last year. Uh -huh. um, and uh, basically, you know, he works with actual, uh, you know, uh, film projectors. Mm -hmm. And the film projectors have, uh, you know, the, the, the film sometimes have the optical audio printed on, on them. Mm -hmm. And he also likes uh, basically the sound and the sound of the projectors is in the room. And uh, my part of the project, he, he had three screens set up, you know, each screen with a different image. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were loops that sometimes repeated, you know, so the, the same image might have been um, three times, right? Mm -hmm. And then something would change and then the content would, would it wouldn't be the same okay. any, a, every time. And then uh, what I was doing was basically Speciali specializing the sound. I'm not sure that I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly, but mm -hmm. basically uh, moving sound in the space to mm -hmm. uh, different different speakers. Uh -huh. So we had a w at that at that point we had four speakers. So you had three sources of sound mm -hmm. or value that I was basically moving around the room, creating a kind of immersive uh, situation. So it sounds like the audio and video, really, the collaboration of those two things made yes. something really magical. It was magical, mm -hmm. definitely. That's great and, to hear. And part of what makes it magical is this, you know, this technology that's, you know, they call it obsolete, but I don't think it's obsolete. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gustavo. I think that's a perfect way to end it.